I wanted to find a better, easier, faster, lazier way to grow tomatoes without a trellis, staking them or constantly tying them up. So I tried hanging them instead. G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and in this video I'm going to show you my hanging tomato experiment, how I did it, would I do it again and what are the results. Let's get into it. Firstly, hanging tomatoes isn't a new idea. In fact, there are plenty of products on the market that are made to grow tomatoes from the base of a container or grow bag. And years ago, probably a decade, I thought this was a fantastic idea to try. So I bought these products and I tried these types of methods myself from the base of containers and it never really worked for me. The main reason it didn't was because when you watered the container or pot, because the tomato plant was right underneath the base, that water would dribble and run through the tomato plant and cause all sorts of diseases and problems. So for this experiment, I thought I would do something similar, but different. Grow the tomato plant in a container, but not from below. Instead, let it flop over from the top. Hopefully this way the stems would grow over the lip of the container without breaking and away from the base, avoiding the water running out of the drain holes. I started on the 9th of July about 12 weeks ago and I thought I would give a Tommy Toe tomato a try because they're a cherry tomato, they're fairly hardy and I thought it would be a good fit for this type of pot. I needed to find something high, at least two meters, because that's about the maximum length a normal indeterminate tomato vine grows. So this post seemed like a good spot since it's doing nothing here anyway, and it's the perfect height. To secure the pot to the top of the post, I used some old decking wood and made a clamp or wood sandwich that I screwed together to keep the container stable. I filled the pot with a good quality potting mix that already had fertilizer added. And I also added a small amount of garden soil in the container to prevent the medium from drying out too fast as being up high on a post in a plastic pot, it gets more sunlight and wind. I planted the tomato as deep as possible up the stem to give it more chance of growing extra roots from the stem and grow stronger. Then I finished off with a mulch 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 of course because this helps to decrease water loss through evaporation it protects the surface roots somewhat from the heat and prevents the soil from crusting up making the water run off instead of penetrating down initially the tomato plant grew upwards and that's expected because even though tomato plants are not natural climbers and don't have tendrils like say beans they still like to sprawl their way up things. Over the weeks, the tomato plant grew well, and although it did its best to grow up, the forces of gravity made it eventually hang down, thankfully. Watering wasn't too hard, I just had to reach up, but if you're vertically challenged, you could use a step ladder, or you could even use one of those long gardening water ones. As you can see, the tomatoes are ripening well and many are ready for the picking. One other very important point is to ensure that the container has a wide and smooth, rounded edge to it. And that way, you can see that the stems can just curl over. They, they might sort of rupture slightly in places but that shouldn't hurt the plant overall. But you can see they'll lean on that edge. Depending on the weight of the fruit, they might curl straight over like they have done here. And they might, like I said, break in a few places or rupture slightly, but generally that'll be fine. Even if it is broken a bit, they will heal over tomato plants. So what do I like about this method of growing tomatoes? Well, I don't have to stake, trellis or tie them. So that saves a lot of time. Pests and animals find it a little harder to get to the fruit. So that's good. 
I like how it looks. I like how it saves space and if you wanted you could grow other plants down this post or at the base so that when the pot is watered that excess water could then water those plants. But there were a few things that I thought could have been done better. Firstly I could have grown two plants in this container for the top of tomato because as you can see it's flopped over to one side. You can see that there's plenty of room up here to put a tomato plant on this side and let it flop down that way. So if I had another tomato on this side, it would have evened it up, doubled the crop and doubled the harvest of course as well, saving even more space. And secondly, growing it on a post like this is possibly not the most sturdiest way of doing it. And perhaps a bench across two posts or something like that would make it more stable and a better growing platform with several containers on it. And thirdly, I forgot to water it a few times because it's just not something that's in your eye line and I forgot that it was here. So perhaps a watering system, a self-watering system like a Ola or something like that, a clay pot on the inside that you could just fill up so that it was never ever any chance of running into any water stress or anything like that. But let me know in the comments section if you have any other ideas on how you could improve on this design. Overall, I'm happy with the results and I reckon I could improve on this design. I'm definitely going to give it another go next season and probably on a larger scale. Not maybe on this post, but something else. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big hang em high thumbs up, share the video around and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Cheers. Yeah.